Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a haul update. I posted a haul a little over a month ago, which I will link that haul up here in case you haven't seen it, but I just wanted to pop back on and let you guys know what worked and what didn't out of everything that I purchased from that haul, just because I love showing you guys what I'm purchasing, but I also want to let you know what works and what doesn't because that's what really matters, right? So if you're interested in that, keep watching, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. So I just pulled that video up on my phone and I have my bottom bar open so I can see all of the products listed and I'm just gonna go one by one. I'll also link all of the products that I mentioned down below in case you guys are interested in them, but let's hop into it. So the first thing is the Dry Bar Full Size Faves um, set. I picked that up, it came with a full size triple sec, the full size detox dry shampoo, and the full size prep rally. So I had already tried the triple sec and the detox dry shampoo, and I loved both of these products. I think they both smell amazing. They are a splurge, so as far as like dry shampoos go, I still usually use my Batiste just because it's so much cheaper. But if I really want my hair to smell good or it's like really struggling, I'll definitely use my detox. And the triple sec is like the best texturizing spray. So I'll curl my hair and then put this into it. And I just feel like it texturizes my hair, it kind of refreshes it, it makes it smell good, and it gives me a little bit more volume. So I am obsessed with both of these products. I think that they're worth the money, but I definitely don't use them all the time just because they are a bit more expensive. And then the third item in that was the Prep Rally. This is a Prep and Prime detangler, and it says that it is also a heat protectant. So I've been using this, I've gotta be honest, this is not my favorite product. The smell is fine, it's not my favorite smell, but I've noticed that when I use this, I can't go as long without washing my hair. And since you put this on when your hair is wet and freshly washed to blow dry it or heat protect it, it's like the opposite of what I want. It's making it so I have to wash my hair faster, but I literally just got done washing my hair. So I'll use this sometimes, but I've noticed that I haven't been using it like every single time I wash my hair. It's probably like every other time because I want to be able to go as long as possible without washing it again. Next up is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. If you guys just watched my everyday makeup drawer video, which I'll link up here, I mentioned this blush. I use this blush basically every single day. I am obsessed with it. I feel like the color is so gorgeous. It's a little bit more cool, which I think is perfect for winter time. So I have been using this nonstop. I absolutely love it. This is in like my top five products from Hourglass ever. It is so good. Another Hourglass product is the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I seriously feel like I've talked about this in every video recently, so I did a get ready with me where I used it. I tried not to open it, and then I still opened it because I couldn't live without it. It's what I'm wearing today. I just love it, so it's amazing. I think this is actually my all-time favorite mascara, which is a pretty bold statement, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Party Girl Eye and Lip Set. I did a full video on this. It is limited edition. I will link the video up here in case you guys are interested in it because all of these products are still available. So it came with the full fat lashes, which this is whatever. It's not my favorite at all. I don't mind it as the first coat and then I'll use something else as the second coat. Um, it came with the Pillow Talk um, lipstick and, okay, the packaging is broken. So it came with the lipstick which is like the world's tiniest lipstick um and then it also came with the pillow talk lip liner which i really like the lip liner and then it came with the rock and coal coal liner which this is really good coal liner and then the color chameleon in the shade amber haze which is a really pretty eyeshadow stick so I overall really liked this. I'm glad I got to try out some Charlotte Tilbury products. I still need to try out some more stuff from her but some, at some point I will, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I ended up buying this. I had the Batiste Dry Shampoo in the scent Bear. I actually already went through that and I'm on to my next bottle. This I actually picked up in the scent Fresh because the Bear scent doesn't come in this extra large can. It only comes in the regular size. And so I figured I would try this scent out. I don't like it as much as I like Bear. I've told you guys this a million times, Bear is the only scent that I can deal with. I don't like the way that Batiste dry shampoo smells, but it is so cheap. I think this is $13.99 and the Detox dry shampoo is like $28. 
Like there's just no comparison. It's insane. Then I had the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I have been through approximately a billion of these, so nothing new here. Still love it, still use it basically every single day. And then the NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. Still use these so much. I mentioned them in my everyday makeup drawer video earlier this week. They're so good. This is like my third bottle of them. Can't get enough of them and I highly, highly recommend them. Next is the Essie Gel Couture in the shade Matter of Fiction. It's actually the polish that I have on my nails right now. I need to repaint my nails, so this is like not a very good depiction of them, but this is like my favorite almost white but still pink pink color. I think it's gorgeous. That was my second bottle of it. My first bottle was getting a little bit too thick and it was hard to paint my nails, so I got a fresh bottle and I'm still obsessed with it. It is kind of just my go-to color. I got another package of the Invisibobble Hair Ties. Literally, there's always one on my wrist. I'm obsessed with these. I think they're so good. And I just wanted to grab a couple more because I had misplaced a few of them. Seriously, these are amazing. I picked up another one of the Origins Ginseng Gel Moisturizers. I love this. I already knew I loved it. This is my third tub of this stuff. It is so good. And I love the way it smells. Gel moisturizers are so good if you have acne prone skin or just oily skin because it's not going to weigh your skin down or clog your pores. It's just going to moisturize and let your skin breathe. I also picked up the Origins Perfect World Moisturizer with the SPF. I gave that to my mom. She loves it. It was a repurchase for her. So she already knew that she liked it. So that is a good one. Then I picked up this Lancome matte shaker set this is the unnude set and it comes with the shades 270 250 and 260 250 60 70 um i like these but i've noticed i'm not getting as much use out of them as i thought i was going to i think partially because the applicator is not really precise and it just comes with this little sponge applicator so when you put it on i feel like it's hard to stay in the lip lines and it also has like this little oily substance on the applicator so I just feel like I'm not getting my use out of them and I would have been able to get away with just buying one of them instead of getting the set of three. I think if you want something that's a nude, like these shades are okay, but if I was going to buy, if I wanted a bold color, I certainly wouldn't use this formula. So if you're going to get something in this formula, I highly suggest getting a nude that's not going to be so obvious around your lip lines. And then the last products are from Origins. They are the Blooming Bold Lipsticks and the Blooming Sheer Lip Balms. <sighs> Okay, guys, I am obsessed with these. They are so good. So today I have on the Blooming Bold in Sweeter Than Honey. This is the lipstick. And then because I wanted to punch it up just a little bit, I put on this shade, which is Coral Daisy in the Blooming Sheer Balm on top of it. So I'm just going to swatch these for you guys. Seriously, if you have not tried these, I highly recommend them. The formula is just so good. So this is the combo I have on today. They don't really look like they'd go together, but because I wanted this to be my main color, but I wanted to punch it up just a little bit, I added this. And I feel like it gave me like a nice corally, but like toned down corally color. So I'm very happy with it. I love this formula so much. My favorite colors of the balm are Pink Blossom, Honey Blush, uh, Coral Daisy, and fuchsia fields so like i said if you haven't tried them out i highly recommend doing so all right guys that is an update on everything that i got in my last haul i hope that you found this helpful give it a thumbs up if you like me to do updates on my hauls and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks so much for watching bye guys